out. Astrid, my child. It is good to communicate to you like this. I have been waiting until you are ready to reach this vibrational level for me to come forth to you like this. I am Lolita. And it gives me much pleasure to tell you this, my child, that I was your birth mother in Atlantis. Yes, can you see the connection now? As Kimberly's mother was Lakeshma, I am your mother. And hello everyone that's listening to this as well. I come here, love and light. My child. I am originated from the stars. However, I was your birth mother in Atlantis. I will describe myself for you. I have long blonde hair. It is flowing out, wavy and curly. It's coming out. So I'm wearing, it's hard for Kimberly to describe what I'm wearing, but it's a gold color fabric. Comes here and it's tight like a corset around the body. And I'm wearing cufflinks here. And then it is quite fitted around me. And then from the waist, I'm wearing a skirt that's of like a purple material. Me and Lakeshma were great friends. Which will come forth for you soon. How exciting is this, my child? How exciting it is for Kimberly? This is the link now. Of why you and Kimberly knew each other in Atlantis. But my child, I am assisting you from the stars to allow you to be on this trajectory on this earth so I may guide you and protect you. Of course, there is someone communicating with you directly. You already know this. You yourself have risen to the vibrational level where you can now speak to us directly. And you're already doing this, my child. Trust it. Have no doubts in this. Just as Lakeshma came forth for Kimberly to give her reassurance of her abilities, as Lakeshma has come forth and been with her all these lifetimes and has comforted Kimberly and to allow her to trust the process that guide, I am the same with you. I love you, my child. You are awakening to your abilities, your divine abilities. You are awakening to who you truly are. You get frustrated for the density of this world and how slow this world, how slow it can be to attain who you truly are. The density is, is holding you back. This frustrates you, this density. Because 
you have been in the past been able to unlock them more rapidly from where you came from in the stars? Don't you see, my child, you're meant to go through this density? You are supposed to go through this, <coughs> come here to assist humanity. Can't you see? You came here to evolve from going through this density process. It is not natural, these experiences, these fears and these constraints that hold you back. It is not natural for your being. It is not natural for anyone's being. But you, my child, are a little bit more sensitive because of your origin. I love you, trust in the process, trust with what will now come forth, trust you are now channeling beings of love and light, you, are no, you know this already, trust it, you do not need confirmation from anybody else. You need to just go within, you will know, and you will have your answer. I love you, my child. You're embracing your gifts, you're exploring them, though you get resistant when you cannot attain them so rapidly this is because you have been able to use them rapidly and attain them rapidly in the past so of course there is resistance you only need to allow it you only need to allow just how magnificent you are you need only allow to reconnect to who you truly are It is remembering who you truly are that unlocks the blueprint, unlocks these abilities. Trust the system. Trust it. Love will lead the way. It will all occur in divine timing. I know, my child, you were eager to reawaken these gifts. But we are here to tell you it's all in divine timing. For there are things you need to go through that maybe you're not aware of yet. And looking back, you will know this process of what's happened and where you are now, based on where you were before, even six months ago. It is all a journey. Once you realise your true power, how worthy you truly are, once you realise this, more be revealed. It is all a process, my child. I am showing Kimberly now. Me holding hands with you and we are dancing. Kimberly sees me as a young woman, energetic, vibrant woman, and I am dancing around with you. I'm here to support you as there are others who support you also. I am coming forth so you may have comfort, so you may know you are on the right path. I love you my child.
my dear friend, the Ascended Master, Lakishma, would like to speak to you now. Bid you farewell, my child. No, you've got so much support around you. Do not feel afraid. Do not feel unsupported. Do not feel that you are alone, as you are not alone, as you know this. As I have supported you in the past, I am supporting you now. In this direct way, love you, farewell my child, until next time. Hello Astrid, this is Lakishma. How amazing it is that you met Lolita in this way. How exciting. It's very exciting for me to come forth in this way as I have come through to you many times and to other members of the group and to the group in whole but never in this video format. How very exciting. For those who may be watching this, I am Lakishma and I'm an Ascended Master. I come to assist the world through the ascension process, through communicating, through sharing this esoteric knowledge and teachings from Atlantis, as I am from Atlantis. These teachings were passed down to us. It is time for these teachings to be released. Astrid, my child, you ask if there's anything more about Atlantis that you need to know. As you all know, it comes in divine timing. Yes, you had many abilities. Yes, the previous messages of these abilities that you're trying so eagerly to attain once again. But, like Lolita said, it is all a process. It is all a process, my child. If you are resistant, if you are too overly eager, and you become frustrated, that creates resistance. You get frustrated with the process. We know you're very excited, but it's just one step at a time. It's all part of the process. But yes, you could channel this source energy that's all around us and channel it in a way where it became a mass between your hands. It was very fun for you, like we said before. Although all of you who is watching this, all of humanity has these abilities, however yours are accelerated due to your origins, due to your lifetime tasks. You are put there in Atlantis for a trajectory. You needed to be in Atlantis to pick up the information 
that was circulating in Atlantis. So we take all that knowledge into your blueprint and carry it forth into future lifetimes. Such as now, the time of great awakening, my child. Your awakening to your true divine purpose. You had doubts around this, doubts around who you truly are, that you are to help others in what your society has named as a light worker. There are many of you out there, this time of great awakening, they're all coming together. All light workers are now being, in a way, switched on. They are being illuminated. Their divine tasks, their blueprints are being awakened. For this time of great awakening, that all the light workers need to unite and to bring their gifts into the world to expand the world and humanity. I love you. These teachings that you learned in Atlantis. It helped you to balance these gifts from the cosmos that you attained and you were able to balance it and use them in the physical world, in this world of humanity, in this physical realm. It is, was a smooth transition coming into Atlantis for you to smooth and balance these abilities into human form, into the form, into the world, into the plane of earth. You are able to transition this and balance this. And this is the purpose for everyone in humanity. It's no matter your origins, it does not matter. It is about using these divine gifts in this physical realm to work in humanity. This is the light worker. These gifts that you received, no matter what realm or dimension or history that you have, This blueprint it carries with you from each lifetime. It gets opened more and more during specific times in your lifetime continuum. Different aspects to it for different lives. For different lives, information needs to be released for that particular lifetime. Some things are picked up and added to your blueprint over different time periods. But for now, in this lifetime continuum, this time of great awakening, this blueprint is carried forth from the cosmos is being unlocked. Trust your abilities. We tell everyone who may be watching this, trust it. You all have a gift to share, whether you realise it or not. Some people are just more accelerated due to their lifetime task. We are accelerating a lot of people due to their task on this lifetime continuum for Great Awakening. It does not mean that they have more powers than you, more abilities than you. It just means... It is being brought forth more sooner and more accelerated due to their blueprint. However, you all can assist humanity if you allow it. You can choose to be the light for everybody, for humanity. You can be that beacon of light. The collective consciousness, it will assist humanity to ascend. So do not feel you are un unimportant, whoever is watching this.
Empire Street, The Lessons of Atlantis are not important for this lifetime as in it is not important to reminisce of your life in Atlantis for the lessons that you've had there, information that's been implanted into your blueprint. This has been carried forth and it is coming into this lifetime continuum. So you do not need to explore it because it's already here within you. You just need to awaken it and you are already doing that. I know it's fun and exciting and of course if it's fun we can explore further but your focus is for the great awakening on earth if you choose and if you allow it to unlock your gifts you are doing so you are already helping others it has already begun this will only expand if you continue to allow it Continue to believe and to know who you truly are, a being of love and light, being who's completely worthy of all these divine gifts. We love you. For those who may be watching this for the first time, I will describe myself. I have blonde hair. It is up and it's pinned and it comes around to the side. I am wearing a white shoulder dress. And there is a cape on my back. I am a fair skin. I was the Queen of Atlantis, the ruler, even though when we say ruler, it is not, it was not a society of putting power over others. We all worked together. There was no power struggles. There was no dominating others. Atlantis. There is an important link here. This is why Atlantis has come forth in Kimberley's group a lot and for you because Atlantis was the birthplace of great awakening on earth. But now we're in a time where it's great awakening now in your lifetime continuum. This is the most predominant link here. This is why some of these lessons are being awakened now in this lifetime because you are entering another great awakening. I love you, my child. You are loved. Do not even doubt that for one moment. Do not even doubt you are alone. Who is watching this? Nobody is ever alone. We are all here assisting you from the divine or cosmic realms. We are here with love and light. You attract us to your life once you're ready, once it's divine timing. We will be revealed to you. It may not be this direct manner, but we are all there. All the realms of love and light, you just only need to see the signs. They come in different forms. This way is very directly, but we can come in songs, in numbers, in feathers in all sorts of signs but we are all out there assisting you you all have so many supporters out there assisting you and loving you we love you and i am lakishma i bid you farewell for now And I send you blessings across the wind, across the earth. Through time and space, I send you love. I am Lakishma and I'm an Ascended Master. Farewell.